Hi guys, just want another quick update. Something that was released just now, or a little while ago on Twitter. Aaron Flynn, exec at Bioware, just tweeted this link to an update by uh, Mark Dara on the status of Dragonese Inquisition. Um, essentially the gist of it is he's bringing everyone up to speed since the information they released at PAX a little while back. Now, essentially the status is they've the game's in a form what they call a holiday build. So the points he lists through here, the storyline and the gameplay systems are to all intents and purposes pretty much well not finished but in a workable state. Storyline start to finish is playable. So essentially they can work on it over the holidays have something to not only play and enjoy but also have a full set of feedback for the whole thing which is really good so they're making progress uh, they've started voiceover that's very interesting to see who's in the cast uh, music is also going in uh, the playable classes and tech and graphics now this this is really impressive I've got this shot of these helmets blown up here look at these look how nice these look Bearing in mind these are uh, pre-alpha, the shiny versions, what he called, what Mark's called tarnished versions. These are the ones with the sort of the sort of the burnt, sort of tinged metal shaders on. No, it says down there pre-alpha. I mean, that just looks ridiculous, dude. And it also goes through as well. Some trees, some environments, and dead things like burn bodies, ghouls, zombies, whatever. Outfits, same again, I'll just blow this up. Some Inquisitor armor there, leather armor. Stunning amount of detail. Leather padding, stitching, things like that. Outfits, and also. There's not a human body there. More of a character model. And faces, which are sort of canary war paint. It's kind of cool. Hopefully that's customizable. Yeah, I just have like tattoos or a custom face paint, war paint. That'd be kind of cool. Of course, canaries are playable characters now, which is also really good. And finally, environments. Some really nice sort of funky interiors. It looks like a pub or a, it's a dining room. Outside environments, forest environments. So one of the tweet from uh, Mike Laidlaw saying this was one of his favourite environments so far. His favourite environment to get lost in, I think he said. Which is really nice. So I'm going to zoom out so you can get the text back in focus. For a variety of locations. Also critiquing as well. Sort of a, it's like a mining sort of area here. So a little bit of critique down there, some notes. Sorry, that's one of my dogs in the background. And so yeah, it just looks they're really making progress. Visually it looks stunning. I mean I saw the half hour gameplay preview they did ages ago. They'd done through the convention, same demo that was at PAX as well. And visually it looks incredible. So really one of my highlights of next year, something really to look forward to. Alright, thanks very much guys. And also the uh, the link to this, if you don't have, don't follow the guys on Twitter, Aaron, Mark Dar or whatever, it's on the Bioware blog. So blog.bioware.com. Alright, thanks very much guys.